Hey, Storyline people, this is David Charney with Illumin Group and eLearningLocker.com. Today I want to show you a real quick thing. It's adding commas to your Storyline file. Now we've got a situation here where we've got this calculator, and a number of things are kind of being multiplied uh, to get a percentage, and uh, that's all based on this number here, which is 100,000, uh, guaranteed over one year. I'm going to choose Alabama, top of the list. I'm going to hit Calculate. And what you can see here is you've got a bunch of uh, results, uh, 25,000, 1,450, ultimately 63,350. Now there's no commas in this, so it's a little hard to read. And now let me add an extra couple zeros to this, and you can see it's, it's a much bigger number, even harder to read. So what can we do about that? We'd love to put in commas, and I wanted to show how uh, that could be possible. So let's jump over to this one here. This is a slightly different version. Type in 100,000, Alabama, calculate, and you can see there's quite a difference in this one. There's commas everywhere. Uh, much easier to read the actual number, 63,350. So how do we add those commas? First off, I want to show you a just a much more simplistic version. I'm going to type a number here, 50,000, calculate, and there we've got a 50,000 with a comma. So uh, change this number here. Well, let's add a couple more zeros. And you can see very quickly commas can be added to whatever number you have. So let's take a quick look at how this example was put together. So here we are in Storyline. Now to do this, you're going to need a little bit of JavaScript. And I, I wanted to kind of make this a much simpler uh, Storyline file because it's a, lot, it's a lot easier to read the JavaScript than the uh, initial uh, example I showed. So um, pretty simple. I've got a text box here. Uh, actually, I think this is a input number box, data entry number, what do you call it here? Number entry, numeric entry field. So we have a numeric entry field here, a little bit of text, and um, a variable here. When you create this uh, input box, it automatically creates this set uh, this variable called numeric entry uh, and you can always go in here and change it if you want if you don't want it to be called numeric entry but i, I left it as is uh, and then i've got a calculate button when you press the calculate button it runs this javascript and uh, so how does this work uh, i should say two before i get too far ahead of myself so I've got two variables here. One is the numeric entry variable I mentioned before. It's a number type variable. And I've got a text variable called answer. Uh, and so I will cancel. I should say this needs to be text and not a number because uh, it won't put commas in it if it's, a, uh, if it's uh, a number based variable. So if we jump into the JavaScript, I added some extra returns in here, extra space so you can see each part a little bit clearer. I won't spend a lot of time on each, but I'll give you the high level of what's going on here. Uh, if you've worked with JavaScript and Storyline before, it's really important to realize that uh, JavaScript has its own variables and Storyline has its own variables. And uh, they're never the same, uh, but you can uh, kind of pull variable information into JavaScript, do stuff with it, and then push it back out. And that's what we're doing here. What we need to do is first let the JavaScript know that um, that Storyline exists. And so we need to get the player. And these are things that Storyline has set up, Articulate has set up for this communication. So you don't really have to worry about what this says. You just have to make sure it's in there. Now I can kind of communicate with Storyline. Uh, like I was saying, I need to create a new variable. And this is how you do that in JavaScript called answer. Even though I've got a variable in Storyline called answer, they don't mix with each other. And so what I want to do is I want to put the variable from Storyline. And the way I get that is by using this player.getVar. Again, Storyline Articulate set that up that, that way so I can pull variables into JavaScript. That numeric entry field, uh, input field that I mentioned, that is the variable for that. So I'm going to set answer in JavaScript to that numeric entry. So if it's 50,000, it pulls in the 50000, and um, that's great. Now I've got that number in JavaScript. Now I want to run that number through a formula. 
Uh, and so this is how you'll have to look this up. If you want to look up functions in JavaScript, it will explain this out a lot better. Uh, I'll make this available. I'll make this whole file available so you don't have to worry about it as much. Um, but what you want to do is uh, make your answer, so 50,000 without the comma, equal to 50,000 without the comma. But I want to run it through a formula that adds the comma to it. So you can imagine adding commas to numbers is uh, often necessary in uh, web development. And so there's a lot of people developing JavaScript for web development, obviously, that um, you're going to find a couple of functions or formulas that uh, add commas to things. And so I found one. I threw it in here. And um, this is the function name, number with commas. The x is whatever the number you're pushing through it. So you'll see right up here, I want the answer to equal whatever the answer is, but push through this formula first, this function. So I end up with a new number here, and that number is going to be 50,000 with a comma. Now all I have to do is I have to push that back into Storyline. So just like I could pull the, the variable data into JavaScript, I can push it back out using another thing Storyline created. That's player.set var, set variable. So I want the answer of uh, Storyline to equal the answer of JavaScript. So now Storyline will know that uh, the answer variable is 50,000 with a comma. So then all I have to do is have a text box here with that answer in it. When I hit Calculate, it's going to push back 50,000 with a comma, and that's going to show up here. 